Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump has been accused of remaining largely silent on the death of Alexei Navalny, Russia's leading opposition figure. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest from Washington. Former President Trump still staying silent on the death of Vladimir Putin's fiercest critic, Alexei Navalny. Despite making multiple appearances since Russia claimed Friday, Navalny felt unwell and collapsed in a Russian prison. If we win Michigan, we win the whole ball game. We win everything. The former president has only posted on social media, comparing himself to Navalny, claiming without evidence that the U.S. justice system has been weaponized against him. Trump's remaining challenger on the Republican presidential primary, Nikki Haley, criticizing him for neglecting to directly weigh in on Navalny's death. Either he sides with Putin and thinks it's cool that, that Putin killed one of his political opponents, or he just doesn't think it's that big of a deal. This coming days after Trump also set off alarms saying he would encourage Russia to attack NATO allies who failed to meet agreed upon defense spending goals. We need to remind the American people that Vladimir Putin is not our friend. Russian prison officials claim Navalny, who is serving a 19-year jail term for offenses widely considered politically motivated, died from, quote, sudden death syndrome. But Navalny's team insists he was murdered. They say his mother was told that her son's body would not be released until investigations were complete. So right now we don't have access to the body and we don't know for sure where it is. Russian police have been cracking down, arresting hundreds of people across Russia for trying to pay their respects to Navalny. M1, ABC News, Washington. Meanwhile, in Capitol Hill, Navalny's death has added urgency to the debate over passing more aid for Ukraine.